Well, today we're going to talk about how to back up your phone. Uh, whether you're an 8 or 8.1 on your phone, you, you can back up your phone, uh, different things in your phone. Uh, you should do this uh, at least every once in a while uh, because let's say you lose your phone. Well, you can actually reset the new phone to exactly the same thing that was on the old phone. So we want to go scroll down here to your settings and find where it says backup. Save stuff to the cloud. So go in here and you see I have app settings tr uh, turned off, text messaging turned off, and but I do have photos and videos, which actually I did that through the photos and video interface to set that up and go ahead and back up that. So now we're going to go ahead and say, okay, I want to do my sa settings. It's save browser, favorites, start screen layout, passwords, and most settings. So if you go out here and you take a look at it, it says, I don't have any. So uh, you can, have, by the way, delete all that stuff. But let's turn it on first so I can go ahead and do a, a backup. And I'm going to go ahead and punch uh, backup now. And we're off and running. It's going to take a while, so I'm going to clip out here and come in and back in near the end. It takes about five minutes. So uh, now here we are later on. It's at 92%. By the way, it says here some apps won't work during backup, uh, which, you know, it's basically freezing your system. You won't uh, be able to do stuff. But eventually it comes up and says, oh, it was backed up two seconds ago. So there we are. So if we click on Manage Backups here, let's go. Um, and there it is. Uh, you can delete settings, you know, settings, backup app, backup. It's using 12.18 of 130 gigabyte from OneDrive. So remember, you're going to be using it. It's only 12 megs, so there's really no issue about using up your OneDrive. Uh, so uh, that's basically how you do that. Now, you can also do text messages. I'm not a big text message guy. It's actually within the settings for text messaging. At the top, there's this little button here that says, oh, turn it on. Now it's uh, going to back up your text messages for. Uh, but all the other settings have something to do with what you configure during your regular SMS stuff. Not necessarily anything to do with backup. Uh, so then I well, we simply back out of this, and we see everything is set up. Text messaging is, is back, set up to back up as well. So you're good to go. So if you low, lose your phone right now or want to buy a new one, you can actually uh, do it. Now, if you go out to the, what gets backed up, it tells you exactly what you can do by just going out to the Windows phone uh, site and it tells you what's going on with that, which we're going to cover now. So here we are at the Windows Phone Store in the backup section, and uh, it talks about what we just did. And it's very important to take a look at this uh, and see what, how, what kind of advantages there are. First of all, this topic is about Windows Phone 8.1. If you're running Windows Phone 8, some options and icons may look a little different, and some features may not be available. Well, the one that I checked on my wife's 8.0 phone works exactly the same, just a little bit different looking. Uh, let's take a look at what is really most important is is what's going on it backs up the apps you've installed on your phone along with high scores and progress from participating apps so not all apps but participating apps the passwords for your account your call history your start screen layout and theme color the accounts you set up on the phone your internet explorer favorites the custom words you've added to your phone's dictionary settings from around your phone including photos messaging email and accounts lock screen piece speech preferences and more which is great. It's very, very important that you realize what's getting backed up here. The next thing is, is that it says here, your phone will wait till it has a Wi-Fi connection is plugged into a power source to automatically create a fresh backup. That's important in that uh, you need to do it manually otherwise, but you want to have a Wi-Fi connection because it is 12 meg. My backup, as you saw, was 12 meg. And it talks to you about doing it uh, manually here. But it says here, after three weeks without a recent backup, your phone will prompt you to create a new one. Very important as well. Want to keep it, want to keep it current. So as long as you have it on, it will prompt you to create a new one if it hasn't done, done one. But more than likely, you're going to be plugged in and connected to Wi-Fi within any three-week period of time. So go ahead over here to the Windows phone, or your phone itself. Uh, set up your backup. Come over here and reread read if you want the stuff here in the Windows phone uh, website. And uh, learn about this great feature for uh, Windows phone. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.